Welcome back everyone. Thanks for joining me today for our geometry lesson. Uh, so I was playing around with our box of sticks that I got from school the other day and I decided to make some shapes. So I made this cute little equilateral triangle. It's green, one of my favorite colors. And I also made this blue square. And I was just playing around with my shapes. I made a little house. I made a strange little design. I tried to fit my triangle inside for another cool design. And then I got thinking about something. I was thinking, wow, this shape is so, so sturdy. Look, ugh, I'm pressing so hard. And my triangle is not moving. It's not changing its shape one bit. Now my square, eh, not so, not, do, not doing so good. I can actually bend it quite easily. I can make it into a kite. I can, I can almost make it into a, another line. It's not, it's kind of flimsy. It's not very sturdy like this triangle. And then I was wondering how could I make this shape just as strong as my triangle? So I started to play around with some of the sticks and I wanna show you what I discovered. I took this yellow stick, since it's a little bit longer than my blue stick, and I attached it here to this brad. And if you'll bear with me here, I'm gonna try my best to build this, construct my new shape. Yes, yes, okay. And when I attach this yellow stick to my blue square, I was so blown away. First of all, I know this is not no longer a square. It did change my shape into a rhombus, or it looks like a diamond, kind of. But when I tried to wiggle it like I did before, uh, look at that, I, I, am, I am squeezing pretty hard and trying. It is not changing its shape. Just by putting this one little stick in there, I was able to make this shape super, super strong. Now, the triangle shape is very steady. I couldn't move it, and my square was not steady. Now, I was thinking, as I was looking at this shape and just observing it, in comparison to my triangle, I realized something, something really cool. The triangle is super, super steady, right? Now, I already said that. If I turn my shape, this, this rhombus, what do you notice? Da, 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 da. There's two triangles. I actually made two triangles from this one square. I can even fit it in there to show you. There's one triangle and there's another triangle. And what does that tell me? Well, it tells me this. Triangles are so strong and so steady. They are known as the constructor of other figures. Now, you know, my my square was very important too. You know, there's things like square roots and square inches, and we use those for measuring. Those are very important too. I don't want you to think that the square is not very important, but I just want you to notice that this triangle, even though it has less sides than my, than my square did, it is so strong. It is a constructor of other figures. It helps them become strong. And I'm hoping that you can find some things around your house or around your neighborhood where you notice a triangle is hidden, just like in this shape. Because you'll see the things that do have these triangles in them are very sturdy and very strong. Now, if you don't have a box of sticks at home, which you probably don't, you could go out and tie some sticks together. Try it. Try tying four sticks together and see if it's sturdy or not. And then do what I did and, and see if you can add in another branch to see if it helps stabilize your shape. You can use other things too around your house if you'd like. I also want you to explore. I want you to explore maybe things in your cupboards, boxes that hold food 
or uh, toys that you have or shelves that are around your house? Do you see any hidden triangles in those figures? And if so, is that object sturdy and strong? Your job this week is to find other shapes around your house and your neighborhood and even construct your own using our very, very steady, sturdy, strong triangle. Thanks for joining me. Bye.